The interior portion of Britain is inhabited by those of whom they say that it is handed down by tradition that they were born in the island itself. The maritime portion by those who had passed over from the country of the Belgae for the purpose of plunder and making war. Almost all of whom are called by the names of those states from which they being sprung they went thither, and having waged war, continued there and began to cultivate the lands. The number of the people is countless, and their buildings exceedingly numerous, for the most part very like those of the Gauls. The number of the cattle is great. They use either brass or iron rings determined at a certain weight as their money. Tin is produced in the Midland regions, in the maritime, iron, but the quantity of it is small. They employ brass, which is imported. There, as in Gaul, is timber of every description, except beech and fir. They do not regard it lawful to eat the hare, and the cock, and the goose. They, however, breed them for amusement and pleasure. The climate is more temperate than in Gaul, the colds being less severe. The island is triangular in its form, and one of its sides is opposite to Gaul. One angle of this side, which is in Kent, whither almost all ships from Gaul are directed, looks to the east, the lower looks to the south. This side extends about 500 miles. Another side lies towards Spain and the west, on which part is Ireland, less, as is reckoned, than Britain by one half, but the passage from it into Britain is of equal distance with that from Gaul. In the middle of this voyage is an island, which is called Mona. Many similar islands besides are supposed to lie there, of which islands some have written that at the time of the winter solstice it is night there for thirty consecutive days. We, in our inquiries about that matter, ascertained nothing, except that, by accurate measurements with water, we perceived the nights to be shorter there than on the continent. The length of this side, as their account states, is 700 miles. The third side is towards the north, to which portion of the island no land is opposite, but an angle of that side looks principally towards Germany. This side is considered to be 800 miles in length, thus the whole island is about 2,000 miles in circumference. The most civilized of all these nations are they who inhabit Kent, which is entirely a maritime district, nor do they differ much from the Gallic customs. Most of the inland inhabitants do not sow corn, but live on milk and flesh, and are clad with skins. All the Britons, indeed, dye themselves with woad, which occasions a bluish colour, and thereby have a more terrible appearance in fight. They wear their hair long, and have every part of their body shaved, except their head and upper lip. Ten, and even twelve, have wives common to them, and particularly brothers among brothers, and parents among their children. But if there be any issue by these wives, they are reputed to be the children of those by whom, respectively, each was first espoused when a virgin. <laughs>